So what's the difference between a hypothesis and a theory? So a hypothesis is going to be essentially like an educated guess, as you might hear. So it's going to be a guess of how something in the world works. And it's important for this hypothesis to be testable, right? We need to gather data and test it to see if it's true or not. So um, a hypothesis is essentially just your best guess of something that happens. Now a theory is going to be a little bit different. It's basically a hypothesis, but it has data to support it. So it has lots of data to support this explanation of a phenomenon in, in the world and science. And it's widely accepted to be true in the scientific community. And some well-known examples of this might include Einstein's theory of relativity, or we have the Big Bang Theory, right? So these theories have lots of data to support their proposal or explanation or their hypothesis. So a theory is just going to be essentially a hypothesis with data. And so it's important to remember that in science, nothing can ever be proven, right? We can have data that supports it, so like with our theory, but we can never prove a theory. So like the Big Bang Theory, while we have lots of data to support it, it can never be proven as true. And that's something that just uh, that's just true in the scientific community. We can never prove something, but we can support it with data. And so that's the main difference between a hypothesis and a theory.